I'll just go into elections really quickly. But elections hold themselves every few years. And you can see from elections, it does there. That means we have an election. If we just play it a little bit, you will see that we will be asked things when it pops up. You can see right now, these will happen all the way through elections. And basically, depending on your choice, will affect what people think. So you can sort of twist and turn the population to think the way that you want the next government to be. So, you know, you can do here... Uh, 10% in favour of pacifism, which is like anti-military, but there's essentially no military at all. War between countries is never good, that's anti-military, pro-military, and jingoism. So if you see, if I click here, it makes the opposite people more angry at us, which is reflected in militancy there. So if I click this, you'll see that number probably go up over the next few days. Or go down, whatever. <laughs> but that's essentially what... Uh, Elections like, and that will go on for about two months, and then the new party will be selected. Uh, voted ideologies and people ideologies. So this is the ideology of people that can vote. So say if you have uh, residency and you have extra people, this is everyone. This is people who can vote. So if this is more to your liking, you might want to change your government to someone that everyone can vote. Then this will change to that, if you understand. And important issues, which are all about reforms. And this is the percentage of voters that want them, and the percentage of people that want them. Like, again, I said not everyone can vote. But you can see here, 0.9, 0.5% of voters want the 14th workday. Which, if I remember, is somewhere around here. Uh, can't find it right now, but it's somewhere in there. And we have stuff like free press, which is over here, and everything pretty much is there. And what happens is, when this becomes high enough, you'll be able to pick it. And you can see here something like trinket subsidies. Uh, there's a 25% unemployment benefit, but more immigrants will want to come to your country. So you're paying more, essentially, but you're getting more people in return. You have voting systems here, which don't really change anything, change much to immigrant attraction. But what they do do is change the way where people are allowed to vote. So you can see right now, only the rich and middle class can vote. In this one, the rich are worth a 300% vote. So if you make the rich people happy, then they're likely to vote for you. And, think, and they'll vote be worth more. And it's just a lot of things like that. Political awareness goes with free press. Uh, trade unions. You know, low health care. Good school systems. And they all cost quite a bit of money to enact. But will really boost up whatever it is they're changing. And that's everything for this main page. Next, we have movements. And movements are what I talked about with suppression points. So say we've taken over Germany and Germany wants to become independent, there'll be a movement here called the German Liberation Movement, and we can suppress it. And rebels will also be like, say we have... Uh, say the socialists want to come into power, right? We'll have a socialist rebel group, and there'll be a number here saying the number of people that are in it, and I'm saying the number of, uh, no, the number of thousands of men they will rise in a rebellious army. So for a long time before they start attacking, they will build up numbers. So you can see here if you need to worry about it too much and build more army. But that is uh, the rebel panel, and you know you can re you can stop them being rebellious by making them happy essentially. Next we have decisions. These will appear at the start of the game. But will be things that are just for your country. Or just for that group of countries that you're in. You can hear you can see here build the Suez Canal, which is in Egypt. And I think this is available to any sort of um great power at the start of the game. And you can see these are things that we need to do it. We need to own Suez or have Egypt in the sphere of influence of France, which I talked about before. Have machine tools, have nitroglycerin, and have invented iron steamers. If we do that, it will build the Suez Canal, which, if I scroll out, is a canal here. And that will let you travel your ship from here to here, rather than having to go all the way around. So, you know, it, it's a very important thing to have. And if I go back to decisions it will also give you 11 prestige 
and there's other things here which we talked about the uh, academic system for uh, technology you can see that's sort of it's not equal at the minute we can change it back to equal there are think there these are all based on what your country you play as so for instance if we play as Austria we can form Austria Hungary if we play as Prussia we can form Germany and the North German Federation if we play as two Sicilies we can form Italy if we play Sweden, we can form Scandinavia, and lots of things like that. So these are very important to work towards. These are going to be sort of like your goals as you play the game. And then release nations, which is kind of a complicated matter, but essentially you can take over a soft country. So say we take all over all of Bavaria, right? Bavaria is not blue anymore, that shade of blue, it's our shade of blue, and it doesn't say Bavaria, it's just a state that we own, so it is part of France, it is not Bavaria anymore, but what we can do is we can release it and let it be Bavaria, but like I talked about before with puppets, it will become our puppet, so it will govern itself, but be our puppet, so we can call it into a war and it has to say yes. Likewise, uh, let's see if I can have anything. Catalonia is a country within itself that France owns, which is right, I believe it's here. Catalonia, you can see there. Part of Spain, but we have a bit of it. And we can release it and let it be its own country, but owned by us. So let's do that. Let's release Catalonia. And you can see right there, infamy minus five. So that's a good way to get rid of your infamy, is releasing a country. But you can see, do you want to release Catalonia as a satellite, which is also a puppet? And when you release a country, you can also just then play as it. So if you want to change who you're playing as, you can just do that then. You can see Catalonia here now. In sphere of France, satellite of France. And if we form an alliance, it will have to say yes. They will accept. So, uh, stay capsules. so you can see here, accept an offer to enter into a military alliance. So Catalonia is now essentially owned by France. But the nice thing about this is, when I talk about colonization, I'll go into this in more detail, but you need colonial power to colonize. And when you colonize somewhere, it takes that power up. And if you release um, a colonial place as its own country, we'll release these two, then it gives you back some colonial power. So I'm trying to find, actually, where we did that. If I go here, let me see. The Confederation of Guana. I have no idea where these are. I'm going to make a quick cut, and when I find it, I will bring you back. Alright, I found the Confederation of Guana. It's one of the um, South African colonies that is owned by France, but you can see now it's its own country. And it has its own prestige, its own industry, its own military power. Its own rank in the world. So it, basically, it could become a great power. But what happens is, if a satellite becomes a great power, it breaks all ties with the other country and just becomes its own. So, you know, we could still form alliance with it. It's still probably like us, but it would be owned by itself. But that's what releasing nations do. And, you know, if you call them into a battle, you won't have to command all their troops. They'll do it for you. So it's nice, it takes a load off your back in micromanagement. Because you can just let them do what they want and just trust them to be there for you if you need them. Back to politics. And that is essentially it for politics. I believe this will go out as two parts now because it's pretty long. But thank you for watching. Uh, there will be an annotation on screen right now to go back to the playlist. Otherwise, stick to the end of the video and we'll go on to population. If you've liked this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and please enjoy the series. Thank you.